Uh, do you live in Louisville? Yeah, I live in Louisville. And you've been part of a Buddhist group yes. for a number of years. Um, You're from Vietnam. Yes. Oh, you are! Your mom! The two churches are both the strong well, relationship with Well, aren't you so yeah. delighted yeah. in your heart about his involvement here with the monastery? Don't you feel good about that? I love being basis for your appreciation or reaching out to other people? Well, the, within the Bible, there are several instances where the faithful are instructed to, to welcome the stranger. Jesus himself in Matthew 25 says, I was a stranger and you welcomed me. And that's been my goal with Te Kung Doc. I mean, I can't, I can't imagine anything stranger than a Buddhist in Harrison County. So I've wanted to extend a, a special welcome. And do you know what I hear? I hear you two are real good friends now. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we are. Yes. And, and that, that makes me happy. Okay. That's good, wasn't it good? Talking about community building mm -hmm. and using um, our faith, our individual faith as a community builder. How do you hope that your being here in Harrison County makes a difference in people understanding each other or in building community? Um, as a Buddhist monk, I always um, live up with our Buddhist principle that uh, we concern other people as our refuge, our family members. So I mentioned many times that um, this temple is for everyone. It's not only for Buddhist but at least for the Jews, the Christian, the Muslim, the Hindu, whoever want to um, live with their spiritual life mm. uh, and who want to um, practice their own tradition, we welcome them because this is their home. Now we've talked about cooking. Are you the cook or is it your mother the cook? Well, most of the time, right now, my mom cooks. Your mother's the cook. Mm. Have you had an opportunity to introduce Vietnamese food to some Harrison Countyans? Uh, last time when we have, you can say, open house, but actually that is our uh, novice ordination. The reason why we invite um, seven monks from the other parts of the country and many um, Buddhist people from the other states um, coming here to participate, and as well as the local people. So at that time, uh, we share our Vietnamese food, our pure Vietnamese food. So I hope that they enjoy that. What is there in your tradition about um, eating together, friends getting together and eating, that hospitality that speaks of some of the deeper, more important spiritual things you believe? Um, as much as we build up proper communication, we can pay away for our a long-term relationship because most of the time we don't understand each other because lack of communication. So when we eat together, that's the time we can face to face and have that kind of deep down conversation and build up that communication. Now we've talked a lot about um, how the Buddhist, Buddhist community is mixing in or understanding uh, the Harrison County community from its various religious traditions. But you're here at the monastery. You are a community here. And you have novices. I've met your mother. Uh, and you're the leader. You're the master here. Yeah. Uh, speak a little to us about the kind of community you have here, how you build that uh, spirit of community, what it's based on. Uh, like I mentioned recently, we base on compassion, nonviolence, and tolerance. Um, besides living in harmony with each other. So that's the way I teach my students in the daily basic. Um, I remind them that whenever they go to school, just try to apply this kind of principle so that they can study and learn with the other students. And so that's what I really want them to do. Um, and also for the uh, lay Buddhist disciple, I always mention that point so that uh, when they, whenever they go out, they would make friends 
and be part of the community easier. Now, um, I understand that you had a feeling about this physical place, these woods, these southern Indiana hills, mm. that um, I think the wording was you felt an affinity with the place. Yeah. What do you think gave you that sense of connectedness? Uh, in Buddhist point of view, um, that uh, we were born in many times, in limitless times. So probably um, I've been here in my last life. That's what I say. I have affinity with this uh, uh, place and the local people. And uh, no matter what kind of people who can may come from different traditions or backgrounds, I just feel they are my relatives and my uh, family members. So this is no, uh, not noting that uh, I say I'm so different from them, but I'm part of their family members and part of their relatives mm. in the uh, material life and in the spiritual life too. Now I understand you're going to have an interfaith service or a meeting tomorrow. What? Tell me about that. Uh, um, for me, um, I initiate the uh, interfaith uh, service uh, discussion at my place here, I think in uh, mid of January. And at that time, we decided that we would hold the interfaith service and discussion um, at the other church so that we can come and learn from the other. So uh, the first uh, formal um, interface uh, discussion, we discuss about compassion. Uh, most of the thing I explained in that um, conversation was about the thing that I present to you as um, seeing all people from the other background as our family members. Um, that's based upon our compassion um, point of view. And tomorrow, um, because our schedule, we have um, monthly interface service or discussion. We will move to Reverend Wayne Church, the Korean Presbyterian Church, discuss about um, the other subject that we can share um, together so that we can learn. So and um, in the mid of this of March, we have the youth in the faith. That means we uh, would uh, ask some of um, our novice uh, talk and share with the other students who used to go to uh, their church um, to share the idea and to learn each other how to uh, practice um, their own traditions and how to understand each other. Tell us, how can we apply many of the things you are learning, experiencing, doing with our new Hispanic members? I think it's wonderful for us to have um, diversity atmosphere in this mm, area, especially I know this uh, country is just the place where most of the people on the earth to come and live together. So mm, I feel this, this is my hometown and for the other people to come, I really want to learn from them too. Are you having uh, participation from some of the Hispanic community? at your interfaith services? Uh, right now, we have not seen anyone, but I, I hope in the future we will see How some How are you going to make it happen? Uh, we may try to reach out, we may try to ask the other pastors to um, invite them, like uh, Reverend Wen, he just mentioned about uh, that um, probably um, during the youth in the faith, we may invite um, the people who come from Hinduism, um, mm, Jewish tradition or the Muslim tradition and the other tradition too. So I hope that eventually um, we we invite them to participate in our interfaith uh, discussions. Eventually yeah. feeds into what I want to ask you. Tell me a little bit about what would be your vision, your real dream and hope uh, for a sense of community in Harrison County in the future? Uh, my vision is uh, that um, Everyone can come together at one place and learn each other, no matter where we go. For example, 
um, I invite all the traditions. I think uh, so. My vision is as um, I like all the traditions to come here and learn and practice together with me, as well as uh, we like to come to the other churches to learn and practice with them so that we can live in harmony as a family members in this community. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I really appreciate um, the opportunity that you provide for us to share and present the Buddhist point of view so that uh, um, people can understand more about our Buddhist t standpoint. I'm just so appreciative of what you're doing down here. I am so appreciative. You're yeah. doing the important stuff of life, I think. Yeah. And what, um, you know, when I come home and live here all the time, I'm going to be living in a better place. So yeah. thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Your opportunity and the dates and Jonathan can get that from you or give you his card. You would know whether to mail. Most of the time that information needs to come in on the written form to the office. It doesn't get to us till it goes through a bunch of other things and we don't want to lose it. If you get out of the system, you know, you don't get it picked up again. We don't want that to happen. So you might do it with the card. Yes. Excellent. Yeah, and then maybe from a different angle, maybe some close-ups, maybe, or the, the window. I don't know how we make the cross shot into the camera today. Is it supposed to be wiggly? This will be good. I, I like having the, the church shot first. Got some close-ups. 